welcome to my video. So today I'm going to do a little decluttering and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff in my collection because some of the stuff that I'm going to be decluttering I'm not using, uh, it doesn't work for me, I anything like that. So I just want to give like a quick intro before um, I start this. So I'm going to be cleaning some powders and let's go ahead and get this done that way and all that. I got quite a few powers so hopefully I'll be able to actually get rid of most of them at least half of what I have. So I'll count at the beginning how much I have and then we'll see how much I let go and clutter. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, So this is all of my powders. I got the high end back here. We got the drugstore up front. Some more drugstore. Now, if they're like new and I recently got them, then I'm not going to let them go and all that. If they work for me, then I'm going to keep it. So, let's go ahead and do this one. This one is the Red Beauty one. I recently got not that long ago. As you can see, there's still quite a bit left of light. I really do like the powder. It is great for my only skin and keep my makeup on and all that. So, this I'm definitely keeping. And again, some that I recently got. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the one size one. This is the Triumph the Base Powder. It's in medium, but it's like a red uneat tone. And right now, I don't really use powder foundations. And this is a little too red tone for me. I like doing neutrals and all of that. But it just... A little dark and everything so I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, let's see, I'm going to take this out. And let's go ahead and do drug stores first. So we're going to get the drug stores done. So of course I'm keeping the e.l.f. camera one. This is a very good one. This one is actually in like 2 and in and I can actually use it as a powder foundation or as a extra covering and all that so I really do like it and it's brand new that elf came out with but really do enjoy it. It's very soft, very blendable and it works really well. Also keeping the elf um, glow setting, halo glow setting powder. I like this lot. It gives like a tiny bit of glow but not too much to where I look oily or greasy and it works really well also. And, of course, I love a lot of Elf stuff. You guys know that's one of my favorite brands. So, definitely keep you that. This one I actually do like. This is the Sheen Glam Instant Ready um, Face and an Eye. So, this part right here on top is actually a powder used for underneath the eye. And then, here you have the actual powder version of it. I do like it. have it in Biscuit. So again, it's neutral type tone, but it's not red like the One Star one. And I really do like it. It gives the end eye a very blurring effect. And it makes my face, when I use a powder, you know, you can use it underneath the eyes. I can use both of them or one of them. So I like how you can use each separate and together. And I really do like it. Um, this one right here, the one size, I'm actually going to get rid of. It really, again, does not do anything for my face. It does not keep my makeup on. I keep me from looking only, anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Plus, I've used quite a bit, but again, it just doesn't work for me at all. Okay. Here's the rest of my drugstore. This one right here, the Ofra one. This is a banana one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this too. I have one, a banana one, but I like the Essence a little bit more than the Ofra one. I feel like that it does not really does good. And I feel like that it really does not work underneath my eyes. It makes it a little creepy and all that. Um, keeping this one, this is from the Fresh Up one from Colourpop. Again, this is in Fair 4. And I can use this as a foundation or a to set my makeup and give me a little more coverage. Works as well as the Elf Camel one, so I'm keeping this. Definitely keeping both of my CoverGirl Fresh one. One is in the white shade, which is... 
translucent, so I'm definitely keeping that because I use more translucent powders more to set my face on underneath the eye than I do actual ones that actually got the tone. And then I have this one which is light pale. Again, this actually going to keep also as good as the um, e.l.f. one and the ColourPop one. So this one actually like plus I like have a goal. It's a good drugstore. Um, this one actually I like too. It's simple of age. Not give me white cast anything like that. Even though it's white, but it does not give me no white cast or anything like that. So I'm gonna keep that one. The Elf one, sheer lifted one. This is okay. I don't feel like it does really anything special. I'll keep my makeup on for a long time, like the other ones that I'm keeping. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. Even though, again, you guys know I like Elf, but still. Okay, this one I'm definitely keeping. This is like a very old one more one, but again, still look. Still keep my makeup on for a long time. One of my summer holy grails. So, definitely keeping that. This one I recently got. This is from this formula. This was from like a Illuminate powder. So, it's just giving like a little Illuminate. And they recently, again, came out with this. But as you can see, I like it all over the face. Again, it does not make me shiny and glowy or anything like that. So I'm going to keep that. Um, definitely like the Baking Beauty One Flower one. This is a really good one too. And almost got half of it done. So I'm keeping that. I'm trying to keep the ones I know for sure works for me really well. This one, I actually do like too. This is by Complete Culture. This is actually in Clarity and it has like a very good um, sifter. And it does a good job. I mean, it's not one of my favorite ones, but it does good enough to where I want to keep it. Um, got this one, but Price Society, I'm going to let this go. Again, not very good. Does same thing. If it doesn't keep my makeup from staying on or anything like that, then I'm just going to get rid of it. This one actually I do like too. I actually got two of these, the loose version and the press version. So I'm going to keep both the loose and the press. This is in actual translucent and the other one in, in fair, uh, um, fair light. So this one I like to lose all over my face. And this one I like using underneath my eyes all over the face too. Or you could take it with you to touch up and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the Pacific one. It's okay. It's okay powder. It's supposed to be a mattifying one. But I don't feel like it does any mattifying or anything like that. I'm going to keep the Air Sponge one. This is really good. Even though the fragrance is really strong. Like this is a very strong one that I have. It still does a good job keep my makeup on and keep the oils from not going through. Also, keep my L'Oreal one. This is actually good. I actually want to try the bronzer that they have from this line. And this is more like a neutral type bronzer. And again, a great coverage. And I do like it alone as a foundation. So there are just few that I would keep as a foundation and as a um, extra cover. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my drugstore. I know this is fast, but... um. I don't want this to be a long one. Okay, so definitely going to get rid of this Tatcha one. I like Tatcha. I have a few things from Tatcha, but for some odd reason, every time I put on my face or underneath the eyes, it creeps, it creases, it's bad. I don't know what the heck they did with it, but it's an okay powder, and it does a lot of creasing, and I don't want to keep anything that creases really badly, and this is actually in... It says Radiant Translucent Sheer Powder, but I don't know if it's give like any radiant or looming effect, but I know it creases a lot, so not going to keep it. Okay, this one with Mineral is actually good. It is one of my favorite ones. It's more like a finishing type one. It says light to medium. So it's not really a setting powder, it's more like a finishing type powder so I can set my face and use this to finish off and make it nice and velvet and fresh looking. So I'm keeping that. Really do like the Pat McGrath. This is like the under eye one. I have two of them. I have medium, 
which that will look like. So that is good for underneath the eyes. And then I have this one, which is the, this is the medium. That's the yellow one. So I also have this one, which is like really good. Actually, give my, is actually my skin. But I kind of like the other one better. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the medium one and use the other one for underneath the eyes. Even though I do like um, Path, Path of Grass. Again, I have so much of stuff. Yeah. But definitely keeping my Charles Terry Tilbury. This I love. This is a great, again, finishing powder. It's a medium too. Works really well. Definitely can go underneath the eye, all over the face, but definitely keep you that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. You know, I like the Peach Perfect. I haven't used it in a long time, and this is like so much left. I have so much other loose powders that is more recent and not as old as this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Even though I like it, I used it a lot, but still. Um, I'm going to keep my Lori Mercier. I love this one. This is a very good one for people with oily skin and all that. Keep me both of my Fenty Beauty. I have this one, which is in, um, Banana. And then I have this one, which is in, um, Butter. So I use this one for underneath the eye or the banana one. So I use either one to set underneath my eye or set my whole face. And then last one is the one size. This is actually pretty good and I'm halfway done with that. So those are all of my high-end and drugstore powders that I am decluttering and letting go. Let me go ahead and count all this up and then I'll tell you guys the total of everything. So for keep there's one, Okay, so I'm keeping 23 powders, which is a lot, but still, again, these are ones that actually work for me, that is good, and all of that, so a reason why I'm keeping actually more drugstore than high in because of that reason. So, and then I'm getting right up. So, 9, so 21, I have 33 total, getting rid of 9, keeping 21. So, it's almost half of what I kept, 
But most of the drugstore, some high end, but these are ones that I found out that work for me really well and does what needs to be done. But that is me decluttering some makeup and all that. And I don't feel bad because I know the ones that I declutter do not work for me or just doesn't do what I need to do and all of that. And I'm happy with um, what I'm keeping and what works for me and everything. So, hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys like the cluttering. I'm actually going to be doing um next video after this one is going to be my palettes. I have so many palettes I need to go through. Big ones, small ones, middle ones, the whole nine yards. So, hope you guys like it. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and everything. And don't forget to hit the notification bell down below. Down below there. That way you guys know when I upload every weekend and Wednesday. And my name is Christina. And hope you have a lovely day and night. And wherever you guys are, till then, see you next time. Bye. Sweet and